Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome once again and thank you for stopping by. If you are new here, you are welcome to join the family. From the last video that I did about women showing respect to her husband, I got a message that I want to talk about it today. The power of the smiling woman. Women, Allah has made us to be the weakness of men. That's why the Prophet, peace be upon him, said his greatest fear for his woman is women. And I think we can all testify to this, looking at what is going on around us in today's century. Women has become the ornament of beautification, satisfaction, a whole lot of things that are tempting to the men. That's why we have to guide what we have, protect it, protect your husband smile for him you don't know the extent the value of your smile to your husband unless maybe you are already aware of what i'm talking about by him testifying to you or by you analyzing the difference between you smiling for him and putting up a fight with him you must for sure know the difference when they come back from work wherever the moment he is back home meet him with a smiling face yes it's more valuable than anything that you can ever do for him at that particular moment they love to see us smile they love to see us happy that's their happiness too what happened to roses when you plant them what happens if you don't water it, if you don't take care of it, if you don't give it all the attention, the fertilizers, the minerals, it will die along the way. Our smile is a fertilizer to our marriages. The way we keep up ourselves, dress up for him. Don't just take your time when you are going out that's the time that you want to take all the time you have in this world to put up all those makeups to put to dress and go and show it to other men outside and when we are back home what do we do to ourselves nothing that is the time you have to dress up for him let him come back and meet you differently than he saw you when he was living. When he's around, let him see you differently. What you wear outside is not what you have to wear when you are inside. Break that gap. Make a difference between them. Take all the time you want and dress up for him when you are in the house or when he is around let him see the beauty in you it's not meant for them it's meant for him so give it to him give it to him guide him protect him it's your duty to do that Stop selling your husband to your friends and others. He has done this, he has done that. It's not going to help. Stop selling him outside. Protect him. Try and solve whatever issue you have. Rate him. Do your best. And even if something has to come out from your mouth, know who you are going to tell. It's not everybody that you have to be going around selling him to. You have to protect him. Be loyal and faithful to him. When he's not around, my dear, that is the time 
you have to know that I have to keep myself up from him. I don't have to do anything that will hurt him. I have to be loyal to him. Yes. That is the time that you have to prove that Allah is your witness. Yes. Even if he doesn't see it. The Almighty sees it. So be loyal to him. Protect him. Give him that due respect. Don't sell him to others. Trust his judgment and capabilities. Whenever he wants to do something, even you knowing that I haven't witnessed him doing this before, and he feels I can do it, so I want to do it. Yours is to support him. Give him that encouragement. And let him do what he has decided to do. Trust his judgment. If anything flops, he will realize it's my mistake. So I have to correct it next time. Rather than you disencouraging him. You don't know the power of you being a woman in his life until you start to put them together you don't have to do much it's just some little little things as i pointed out do them and you will reign him do them and he will be happy to have you do them and you will please him and you will please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't forget to always say alhamdulillah for, for what you have. Because you don't know what is outside. You don't know what others are going through. You don't know what others wish to have. You don't know what they are struggling to put together. You can do it too. Say alhamdulillah for what you have and do your best to protect it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.